Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. All we have to do is look at this great big world around us, and we see so many things that God has created that give us hope and joy for the future to come, a future with him in heaven for all eternity. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from 1 John chapter 3, beginning at verse 21. Dear friends, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God, and we receive from him anything we ask because we obey his commands and do what pleases him. And this is his command to believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and to love one another as he commanded us. Those who obey his commands live in him, and he in them. This is how we know that he lives in us. We know it by the spirit he gave us. You know, as I read these words this morning, I'm reminded that in God's goodness to us, he's given us his Holy Spirit, and we live by that spirit. And the Holy Spirit is there to um, to help us and to guide us and to be our counselor. But as a good counselor, he doesn't just, uh, you know, bless us and say, hey, carry on. He also points out those areas of life that need to be worked on, those areas of life that need to be fixed. And and so I think what John is saying here is that when we're feeling confident about how things are, when we feel confident in our walk with God, then we should be confident that we're, that we're okay. Um, you know, I, I think for all of us that throughout this life, uh, we experience different highs and lows and different you know mountains and valleys and plateaus that we may rest upon. And maybe we go through a time of peace and then the Lord brings something to mind and say, hey, let's refine this area of your life, if we, if you will. Um, and, and, and all those things are okay. Um, and yet at the same time, we can have confidence that God is in charge. We can have confidence that we're doing it his way. And when we're truly doing it his way, when we're being obedient to him, we can ask for whatever we want because then our thoughts, our hearts, our desires are in line with his. Um, what does God want for us? Well, God wants us to love Jesus. God wants us to, to know his son and to accept his son's, uh, gr the grace of his son and his death and resurrection is ours uh, to cover our sins. God wants us to accept his Holy Spirit and to be guided by the Spirit and live by the Spirit. After all, we talked about this before, Jesus came to bring the kingdom of heaven to this world. And so even in this world, we're living in the kingdom of heaven. Now, of course, all around us, um, is the eternal fight, if you will, the, the angels against the demons, if you will, the spiritual warfare that goes on that, that you know, we're a part of but don't really understand or, or, or aren't really there fighting, if you will. But our goal, our role is to draw people into the kingdom with us. And, of course, if we follow the model of Jesus, we don't do that through force. We don't do that through uh, fighting. We do that through love. We love on people. And that's what we're called to today. But the exciting thing about these words today is just a reminder that we can be confident in serving God. We can be confident that if our heart uh, is right with God, that his Holy Spirit lives within us and that we're doing things right. Um, the devil wants to come up and trick us. The devil wants to come up and tell us that we're not doing it right. The devil wants to put this thought in our heads or, or push us away. And yet in our hearts, when we listen to God, we can hear him say, well done. We can hear the Spirit say, let's do this, let's move forward, let's let's stop here, whatever the case is. But when we have that confidence in our hearts, then we know that we're right with God, and we know we're right where God wants us to be. Today, I just want to encourage you that if the devil is telling you some lies, to, to throw that back at his face because you belong uh, to Jesus. Uh, we are covered by his blood. Yes, we all have things in our past that we wish weren't there, uh, but God has forgiven us, and you are forgiven today if you brought those things before Jesus. Uh, if you put them down at the foot of the cross, he has taken it from you. You are forgiven and your heart can be pure. Today, let's just celebrate what all that God has done for us and continues to do for us. If our hearts aren't confident in the Lord, let's just give that to him as well and say, here you go, Lord. Uh, I'm not feeling confident today. Would you help me to get to that place? And God will be faithful. God is an awesome God and God wants you to have confidence in him as we seek to serve him and share him with others. Uh, what an awesome God we serve. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for our hearts of confidence that remind us and, and that tell us that we are right where you want us to be. That doesn't mean we're perfect. It just means we're being used perfectly by your purpose and we're trying to do it your way. Um, and so, so Lord, we pray that you would continue to search our hearts, continue to give us confidence. If there's areas that we need to, to fix, Lord, then may we hear your voice and may you refine us that we might be more like Jesus. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do for us. And thank you for all that you're about to do for others through us. Uh, Father, we know that you're the one doing the work and we're simply being obedient to your spirit. So Father, may your spirit uh, thrive in our lives. Father, please bless those who need a special blessing today. Uh, you know all the needs around us. Uh, There's so many more that we can't even count, but you know them all. Father, touch them as you would touch them in order to draw people to yourself. And we'll give you all the praise.
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. God wants you to have confidence in your walk with him today. I hope you're feeling confident. If not, I hope you'll simply give it to him and trust him to, to build that confidence within you. But either way, have a great day. Know that we're praying for you and we love you. We'll see you tomorrow.